pivoting a bit here, um, we're going to talk a bit about the Bucks and the Patriots, which last week we talked a little bit about this on the podcast. And I think we both agreed that we just couldn't see Tom Brady uh, going back to New England and, and losing, especially to a rookie quarterback. Mm-hmm. And it turns out that that prediction was right, but it was it was a hell of a lot closer than, than I expected. Yes, and me too. I, I would go as far to say Mac Jones, I think, outplayed Tom Brady. Yes, um, in this game, he did. In a lot of ways, it, in a lot of ways, which I think was surprising. I guess I guess maybe to a Patriots fan, that's, that's not as surprising. Um, but... It, the whole time I was thinking when it looked, when it looked like the Patriots really, really, really had a chance. Um, I was thinking about our discussion on the podcast last week and about how it just was undeniable in my mind that Tom Brady was going to go in there and take care of business. Um, but I, it just dawned on me, like I completely just disregarded the fact that Bill Belichick could do the same thing. Um, and I think, I think I wasn't giving Belichick enough credit. And I actually think that this was a big win for the Patriots, even though it didn't show up that way on the, on the scorecard at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, as a, as a Patriots fan, I am interested to hear what you have to say about this, this game as a whole and what you, what you think it means for the Patriots going forward. Yeah. Like as, as you said, it was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. And it's, it's promising, I think for the, the rest of the season that we went toe to toe with, I think one of the greatest teams in the NFL right now in, in the bucks with, with, um, you know, very solid on, on both sides, not, not so much on the defensive side, uh, th- this game, but you know, they had, um, multiple, uh, defensive players, I think g- get injured in this game, but, um, yeah, one, th- like you were saying you, you, um, said you 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 weren't giving Belichick enough credit I think Belichick made like some crucial mistakes in this game that I think ended up to them losing the game the big one was at the end where it was fourth and three and it was it was the Patriots last drive of the game and they had the chance to go for it and instead they they um k- kicked that 56 yard field goal by Nick Folk that ended up not not making it and I'm just like that th- it's not like there's like three seconds left it's like you could have advanced the ball a little bit further or at least tried to right and then and then you'd have a shorter field goal for for Nick Folk and I think if that field goal is just even slightly closer Nick Folk makes that because Nick Folk has been a great kicker th- th- this year. He's been very accurate, but a 56 yard field goal in a rainstorm is that's tough for any kicker to do in the NFL. So what I, point of the game was yeah. that? Was that how much time was left during that point of the game? Do you remember there? I think there was around like th- 30 seconds left. Did they yeah. have a timeout? Yes, they, they, so they, they did. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that seems yeah. super questionable. I mean, analytics yeah. would tell you that that's, that's when you have to go for. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, that, that's definitely questionable. That's a, that's a great point. Are, are you at all worried about the Patriots lack of ability to get their running game going? Or do you think that's just a product of Tampa Bay's defense just being locked down or just the flow of the game? Yes, I, I am. <laughs> Anytime you have a negative one rushing yards, that's, that's cause for concern. That's never what you want to have happen. Um, so the Patriots are never uh, re- just yeah. just real quick. Nelson Aguilar led the team in rushing with four yards. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> that that tells you all you oh, need to know. Man. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. The Patriots have have struggled for a while now with um, having a good r- rushing attack. Uh, they really haven't had a solid running back since Legarrett Blunt and. Um, 2016, I think it was. And uh, yeah, Damian Harris, I think is a good running back. Um, but I don't, I don't know what, what it is. He's just not having the best start to the season or not the, the, the season that we were hoping for. Um, so I don't know if he's just not getting enough, enough reps or if, if, if it's an offensive line issue or 
or what, but um, when you just have the passing game, that's that's not which way you really want to have happen. That makes just your offensive attack very one dimensional, and it's very predictable for defenses to predict what you're what you're gonna do. So yeah, I am worried, but it's definitely not. So, it's definitely something that can be fixed. Right, and so <clears throat> just I, I have the stats pulled up here. They the they the Patriots had eight total rushing attempts, and Jeez. that's <laughs> right. Two, let's see, yeah. forty two total passing attempts. So, so the ratio there is is way off. And to ask yeah. a rookie quarterback like Mac Jones, I mean this this I think is the big win for the Patriots is that he went thirty one for forty. Uh, granted, he had that interception, but. Mm-hmm. Asking a rookie to throw 40 times against Tom Brady against yeah. the reigning Super Bowl champions mm-hmm. and have, have the game that he did with that kind of efficiency, it, it's really something special. And yeah. uh so so that's that's the point of optimism for sure. Um yeah. but yeah, I mean it, it remains to be seen with, with the running game there.